So in HVAC, as all services businesses, um, they always start off with a one or two man band and they grow up and they get bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, more often than not, though, they go bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And then something goes pear shaped and they go smaller and smaller and smaller. And they go bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger, and bigger, bigger this time, and then smaller and smaller and smaller. And what's happening when that happens? Or well, sometimes as you go bigger and bigger and bigger and then they go, Pfft. Um, that also happens, unfortunately. And um, that's not due to hard work. Actually, that is probably because of extremely hard work and a failure to systemize. So um, it's quite possible to grow with just working your butt off, but it's not sustainable because you end up creating this key man risk where one person becomes um, the hub of everything. And that means that one person can't take a break and that one person gets injured, gets burnt out, just <laughs> loses their shit because they don't have any downtime. So you want, um, you want a situation where as you're growing, you're building a business under that. And what is a business? Like, it's a funny question. What is a business? It's like a pe group of people running around doing stuff, providing a service. Not really. It's, it's a group of people and systems operating autonomously without a leader like that's 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 a business otherwise it's just a bunch of people working their asses off and a, a business really must be systemized um, otherwise it's just this expansion and contraction expansion and contraction or expansion and collapse um, the business the systemization of a business allows you to scale and um, at Field Insight and on Schedule Flow, we're working really hard to um, build out a set of systems for HVAC businesses to help you systemize um, that business, to give you a template to work from. That'll just be in a single, a single document, but a bunch of different systems. Um, and you can take those and stick them on Google Docs and build out a, a proper register. Um, but ideally, put, put this somewhere on Google Docs and share it uh, with your team, and then everyone's got their own systems. So. Systems and templates and training, uh, values, um, all of those operate together to give you the foundation for a business. And software can um, improve the uh, adherence to your systems. So if you've got, uh, this is meant to happen when I send a quote out. This is meant to happen when we go out and do a job. This is meant to happen when I send out an invoice. Um, it's one thing to have the system and a beautiful checklist. It's another thing to make sure people follow it and check it off. And if it's not followed and checked off, it's like a dream, really. The probability of it succeeding is uh, low because people, and it's nothing to do with hard work. It's just people get distracted. And if there isn't a process for ensuring adherence, stuff gets done once, twice if you're lucky, three times is a miracle, and then never again. Like, you need to systemize. So if you're thinking, man, this is the umpteenth time this problem's occurred, just think, is it missing a system? And even a small business, like, you getting the systems right for yourself um, and executing against your own systems then makes it easy to get someone else to come in and say, hey, look, this is the system I use. I want you to start doing that now. So one, it validates that it works because you've done it. Two, you can train it up really well because you know how to do it. And three, it's written down somewhere and someone else can follow it. So growing your business um, is uh, a lottery without systems and more like Russian roulette because at some stage that gun's going to be loaded and it's going to be all over. Um, or it's just going to be another contraction and build up again. And, and that's, um, that's frustrating. But as a small business owner and a, a, an entrepreneur and you're driven to, to build something for yourself and your family, um, that immense frustration of watching it all slip through your fingers um, for a second time or a third time or you know probably the first time is the most shocking time um, that can be stopped and I do believe in business coaches I think the right business coach for the right stage of your business um, is invaluable because they've what a business coach is isn't someone giving you advice and ideas it's someone a good business coach is someone who has researched the ideas 
um, of hundreds of other people and it, they've con condensed them into something which you can understand and allows you to ask questions and solve your specific problems. Um, the other thing I would say is, yeah, just, uh, actually I'll make that another post. Just work out what stage your business is at and make sure your energy is focused on the right thing at that stage. Because if you've got sales and marketing going really well and your problem is uh, team leadership and uh, teamwork, uh, or your problem is delivery, or your problem is operations, then you know work out what area you're gonna focus on and focus on that. But th th there's more to do around planning. Uh, th this point is just about systems, um, and you can't grow without them. I'm belaboring the point a little bit, but everyone misses it. Nobody likes writing stuff down, um, and nobody likes getting organized enough, so. Get someone to help you write them down if you need to. Get them written down. Get them on a Dropbox folder or Google Docs. It's free, cheap, easy. Everyone's got access to the same stuff. Share it with your, with your team. Um, and then I would say, because <laughs> I'm biased, but it's also what we do. We use Field Insights checklist functionality to make sure that a process is executed when it's meant to be executed and it can't be completed until that checklist is done. So that's the adherence part. And um, I've tried systems and processes before and I've written them and I've prayed someone will read them and I've emailed them out and I've brought people in and I've showed them. They just don't get executed because um, there's no follow-up. So it's like if you ask someone to do something you don't follow up, it's like you don't really care about it. So you need to systemize the follow-up as well. It's oft not talked about, and it should be. All right, take care, have a great week everyone. Systemize one system this week, get a system in. Systemize your HVAC business, kick ass.